Okay, so after you just finished um, your building analysis, the next thing to do is to produce your structural details, such as the slab details, the beam details, and the column details and finishing details. So first, you will have to start with the slab detail. To create your slab detailing in Prota Structure, you click on Slab Strip. When you click on Slab Strip, a dialog box will appear, which you have to select the kind of end conditions that you have. So we will start with X direction, which is the X axis. Now, on the X axis, we have two, two options here to pick, which is um, at, at start and at end. This simply means that what is the what kind of um, slab do you have at the beginning where you want to start to cut your slab strip? So at the beginning, this is our beginning. We want to cut through this slab to detail this slab. So at the beginning, we have a discontinuous end. So there is no slab on this end. So we we'll pick a discontinuous at the at the starting point. Now coming to this end, we have a cantilever end. So we will pick a cantilever end at the end. So now, we will now have to click and then move our, move our mouse across. To make this line straight, you hold your control key. So I hold my control key and just click a little bit after the slab. Automatically, you can see our, our slab reinforcement is already shown showing showing that the slab is already detailed okay so the next thing i'll do is to detail the vertical axis so i'll quickly change my directions to y and then at the starting here we have a cantilever and at the end at this place we have a discontinuous end so i'll click my starting to be cantilever end to be cantilever end and my end to be discontinuous and i'll click and go across hold my control key and click now this lab has been detailed both in x direction and in y direction the next thing is this is this area so in this area now i will have to cut this lab all through down so cutting this lab all through down now we have our end condition here which is starting cantilevered and down here we have another which is um, cantilevered also so I'll quickly pick cantilever, cantilever. Then I'll click on my, I'll click at this point, put my control button down, and click just across it. Sorry, sorry. Delete and then come back again. We have cantilevered, can cantilevered. Okay. So we now have the, the the slab reinforcement on this axis. The next thing we'll do right now is to detail this uh, this axis, which is we are still on Y. I'll quickly click. Now, what is our chain? Okay, we now have this end discontinuous. So we'll pick a discontinuous end and then go again. Click. And then go down and then click again so we have this here now what if there is no cantilever all we have is discontinuous and discontinuous let me see if we have okay we have that there is no cantilever on this area we have a discontinuous end and also a discontinuous end in this kind of thing what you do is to pick discontinuous and discontinuous so across hold your control key and click okay now we do the y the x axis right now the x axis of this lab this both end have cantilever cantilever so i'll quickly pick cantilever cantilever and then go click go across and then click again so with this so now to cut your slab section to cut section to this lab to see the the this lab section 
you go to um, floor plan section click on that icon just the same way you 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 cut your slab strip you click and then go across hold your control key and then click again and then you'll be asked where you want to paste just quickly go up and or you go anywhere to paste and then click automatically you can see your slab section showing you your this is a support on this end this support is this support and this is the span showing here this support here is this support and this support is this support and this is the cantilever slab which shows here okay so this is how we detail our slab in the total structure okay next thing we'll be doing right now is to detail our beam